back at it the next day. Windows are already dirty. Still using everything we got here. This field is just beating my expectations of yield so far. My other two wheat fields were a little disappointing. The one was really disappointing because the one field was under 20. That so far has been between 50 and 60. Unbelievable. Although finally, like what it is once it's all in the bin and stuff. And it's not the cleanest sample, so I'll probably clean it and that'll drop some bushels out of the final amount, but. I still have a lot more to go than I thought last night when I quit. I should have refueled and kept going. Oh well. That's a full hopper. Yeah, there's volunteer barley in it. I'll have to see if we can, can't get that cleaned out. Otherwise that wheat looks good to me. Sample looks good otherwise too. I think I'm over 40 acres of 60 acres done here now. So we'll still finish today. Hopefully I got bin space for this because it's all yielding better than expected. Which is awesome because the first two fields were less than expected. Or yeah, a little bit less. Than expected. Let's unload. Dusty windows. The wind has been okay for the most part, a little bit too much from the north, bothering me on the driving south passes. Weeds are still running good. Oh, definitely can't complain on this field. Rusty windows. Probably, I don't know, I think 1580s would be kind of low to say the dots left. GPS figures we've done 45 already, so maybe. Eight inch double rows. My next drill, I want a 5710 Borgo on seven inch spacing. But I might actually flip my air seeder for basically the exact same thing, but 28 or 32 feet instead of my 24. I think 20 to 90 can still pull 28 feet if I eliminate the liquid fertilizer and just go dry, which I'm probably going to do next for simplicity's sake. Put less fertilizer on with the seeder or drill and then just top dress liquid with a sprayer. Then I can do more intercropping for grazing and stuff like that where I'm not so worried about the liquid fertilizer system. I can just throw in dry products and go. Them. 
combine share on load slope. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to put the phone down so I can pay attention more. Getting down there, probably 10 acres left. Harvest 2020. So all this kosher to push through the chopper. Just cleans it up. Uh, the one bin is full again, so then I gotta go and swap the auger over to the other bin to finish filling that one. I think this wheat is better quality than the other stuff, so we kind of wanted to keep it separate, but whatever, it'd be better to just be able to keep it all in our own storage rather than renting a bin at a neighbor's. Um, so, do probably this pass, those two. I already got one hopper on the truck, so then I'll just do this bit, fill that truck, and then go do that stuff. And for 10 acres with being so much kosher in here, um, I don't know, probably a truck load or maybe a little bit more. We're at the point in harvest where we only downshift if we absolutely have to. Otherwise we just power through. But screw it, we're almost done. Well, we found it. Last pass of harvest. I'll have combined 500 acres for the 7721 and a 1682. And all I have for breakdowns and expenses are those plastics that I put into this table auger and the feeder house bearings that I put on the 7721. So, 200 bucks. Now maybe closer to 300 all said and done in repairs for combining 500 acres. Between the two combines, I have $8,500 invested in them. 2290 is worth probably 15,000. That's not too bad. Definitely takes longer than it should, but that's not so much because of capacity of combines and stuff. It's just I have so much other work that it feels like I'm hardly ever actually in the field. Time to fold it up so I can go onto the yard as we're done. I'll show you the 1682 transport. So, this is the wedge in the hitch. Whereas the deer has the pin that you use the jack on in there, this just has this pin wedge. Grab your hammer, give it a whack, and it comes out. And then you just block the other wheel, same thing in that regard, and move the back up to move the hitch over and then you stick the wedge back in that simple um, so this one is actually probably a little bit simpler a little quicker but the John Deere does give you the advantage that uh, you can mount a hydraulic ram on it and then you could move that pin in and out with a hydraulic cylinder from the cab um, so pros and cons to both Auger's empty. The bin is right to the brim full. And that's a wrap on Harvest 2020.